big thank you to Face of Liberty and, and, uh, and its founder. A uh, very big thank you. And also massive thanks to my friends also that, um, that helped me overcome this addiction. I, massive thanks to you all. I appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. I go by the name uh, Joseph Fidelis Wachuku. Uh, I'm also known as Pope. Yeah, people call me Pope. I'm a content creator, I'm a script writer, I'm a movie writer as well. And uh, I, I also do laundry and then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a comedian. Yeah, I can make you laugh. Oh, Lord. Um, talking about growing up, I, it wasn't really very easy. It wasn't really very easy at all. Okay, I grew up in a family of um, five, actually. And then, uh, in the long run, I lost my parents. I was actually the second to the last child of the family. So, I lost my parents. And then at, uh, at a very early age then, I had to, I had to go for houseboy. So, it wasn't really easy, but uh, we thank God. We pulled through and then, yeah, we are here. We are here. I was seven. I was seven, actually. Yeah, seven exactly when I went to do the houseboy. Houseboy thing and all that. So uh, it wasn't really easy. I, I was really exposed to a whole lot. Uh, my madams, my bosses, the beating and all that. I could even recall the day I was meant to to kneel there in front of the road. Yeah, I raised my hand up and I closed my eyes. I was kneeling in front of the road there. So that and then the rest of it, uh, it wasn't really easy. But we thank God that uh, we pulled through and then uh, we are here. Not that we have arrived though, but uh, we thank God. We're still moving. Okay, actually I started drinking uh, when I was seven. Yeah, that is when I, that, that's, that, that's exactly what I mean when I say I was exposed to a lot. I drank my first beer at the age of seven years. I think I smoked, yeah, I smoked for the first time at the age of nine then. Yeah, at the age of nine. So I was exposed to a lot. I started drinking. I, I drank and then I noticed that uh, when I got a little bit high, I, uh, I was able to do some things, a lot of things faster than normal. So I, I kept it up. And then uh, my madame do sell drinks too. So uh, I would, most times in the shop, I always uh, try it, <laughs> like try it. When when people are taking, I do take too. So I I started drinking from there, and then started getting into me, getting into me till I became an adult. Yeah. <laughs> Alcohol is not really a good one. Yeah. It really, really, really finished me. It almost finished me. Like, I started seeing myself. In fact, I became so addicted that I don't really pass through people without them perceiving the smell of alcohol on me. So, at some point, it became... Uh, I became used to it, though, but uh, it wasn't really a good one. It wasn't really a good one. You know, this... Uh, the uh, you can imagine the scenario when uh, someone would just, I would just pass and then you, you perceive something and then maybe you will not tell me, but I know that you're, you're perceiving it, you get, so it wasn't really good, it wasn't really good at all, it wasn't really good at all. Okay, I learned laundry when, during my the period when I was still serving my boss, when I was doing the houseboy too, so I was made, I was made to wash a lot. And then from washing, I I was uh, taught how to separate clothes, how to wash clothes, the, the way to dry clean, like the clothes will be dry, you don't need to put it inside the water, you just clean it like that, and then how to iron some clothes, how to fold them and all that. So uh, yeah, I think I was 13 then. I was 13 when I was being taught all that. So from there, I I started uh, doing it. And then here I am. OK. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say it almost finished me, 
<laughs> all my earnings, everything was going to. Not that I was really making a lot. I wasn't really making a lot, but the little I had was going to alcohol. Yeah, there are some times when I would see it, people would buy for me and all that, but the one I buy with my money is, uh, is always more than the ones they buy for me. You understand? So all my earnings was really, really, really going on on alcohol. Like I can't just sit. I can have a uh, five hundred naira in my pocket, and then I can I can spend only a hundred naira on food. The rest would be for alcohol. So it was really, really taking a lot for me. Like I I wasn't really able to save. Like all the money I'm getting is alcohol, everything. Yeah. So that's it. Okay, I started properly uh, in the year 2020. I started it at home. Yeah, I was. Uh, I started at home. I had uh, some couple of people that do call me to come and uh, iron their clothes and all that. So I was. I said to myself, "What well, that's important. This is what I'm very good at. So even if I can, if I can at least add it to a side hustle, it will be. Yeah, it will be okay for me. So, so I started. It. I started telling people I do laundry. I started picking the material. I bought my iron and all that, uh, my iron table at home there. So basically, I started properly in the year 2020. Yes, it was. It was, you know, I... Um, then I I had that my machine was bad. My machine was bad and then some other things that uh, were associated with it too. So uh, there was... Um, yeah, there was no really, there was no money to repair them. Like I said earlier, the little ones I would get would still be going to the alcohol. So it kind of, I, I closed up because I wasn't really, I didn't see the money to repair my machine. So that was when <laughs> I would say I became a full-time addicted alcoholic. Okay, um, what triggered me to come back or what pulled me back? Uh, yeah. Basically, friends. Yeah, yeah, friends. I used to be this kind of person that uh, I, I am very, very nonchalant. Like I don't, I don't care. I don't care if I do my thing because I love to do it. So I don't care what people say actually around me. But this particular time, I had to give in to what people were saying because it was really, really affecting me. You know, I had to sit down. I had to ask myself, is this really the way forward? Like. How, how how am I going to, how is it going to, is it, is it this road I'm going through, is it actually the, the best? So I had to ask myself that question and, and I have friends too that, uh, you know, <laughs> that were always on my neck like, oh God, no, 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 no drinking today, no drinking today and all that. Uh, even if I take, <laughs> there was this particular period when uh, a friend of mine had to, uh, had to pour away the drink I was uh, I already poured it to drink, so he, he poured it away. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's uh, that's very lucky. I I didn't really regret what he did. So friends, yeah, friends helped me out, uh, talked to me, and then yeah, talked it really sense into me. And then now, not that I've actually stopped, but I can control it now. Not uh, like when he was controlling me. I would have money, pay alcohol. I have money, alcohol. But right now, I can. Uh, I am I'm bold to say that I can control, I can tell myself, my friend, no drinking today. Uh, let's wait till next time. You know that. Yeah, actually, I, I would say, no matter what, always surround yourself with good people, good friends. Even if you're a bad person, if you are, if you are a rugged person, if you are too rough, at least have at least a very good friend. Because when you are going astray, these are the people that are going to call you back. So I, uh, I am actually grateful for my set of friends who helped to pull me, to pull me back. So I will advise always have good friends around. Always have good friends around, and then sometimes take a time, take a day off, take a minute off, an hour off, sit down and ask yourself questions. You know, actually, there are some times when the, 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 uh, uh, what, what am I going to say it? The, the, how you talk to yourself really matters a lot. You understand? So, take some time, sit, 
ask yourself questions what am i doing how am i going to achieve this is this really the best way for me and all that and then with the help of god and then friends around yeah you can actually you can actually make it yeah if i could you can um, i want to say a very big thank you to face of liberty and then uh, and its founder a very big thank you and also massive thanks to my friends also that um that helped me overcome this addiction. I massive thanks to you all. I appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot.